Hey guys, so I wanted to go ahead and share with you my favorites for the month of June. Um, the first thing is a new discovery of mine, which you guys are totally going to laugh at me because it's been around forever and I'm sure that all of you probably use these already. And they are the Wet n Wild uh, palettes, or the 8 pan palettes, the color icon. The thing is that the first time I was into makeup I was in high school, in early college. And I really wasn't that into it. I mean, I kind of just wore enough to not look terrible. Um, but I wasn't really as into it as I am now. Then what really got me into it more was working at Clinique. Well, I didn't really need to buy makeup because I worked at Clinique and they gave us so much. And I wasn't really interested in going too much outside of that brand. So I never really explored a lot of drugstore things. Which in turn meant that I missed out on a lot. And I'm realizing that now, the kind of the further I delve into uh, drugstore brands and watching hauls and watching, you know, tutorials and all this kind of stuff. So uh, a while back, someone had mentioned these. And I went and purchased one. They're, of course, $5, and it's eight shadows. And I thought, there's no way these are going to be any good. And I had to eat crow because they're really awesome. And I was super impressed with it. Um, I love my beauty from the earth and I use it every day. But when I travel, I like to have something in a palette like this. Um, and especially a small palette, which is really helpful. So I got the Comfort Zone palette. Um, and it's kind of greens and browns. Then I was at CVS and I noticed a, a brand called Black Radiance. And it's obviously geared towards you know darker skin tones. But who says I can't buy it? And they actually had this exact same palette. And I think they must be made by the same company, or I don't know what the deal is, I haven't really looked it up. But I got one palette called Urban Jungle, which is a bunch of greens, and it has this awesome like yellow color here. And then I also got Posh Plums, which I used in a video, or talked about in a video the other day. And um, both of them are the same quality as the Wet n Wild. They look exactly the same. The colors are just a little bit more intensified. They are a couple dollars more. I think they were like $7 as opposed to 5 But still, that's a bargain for this many shadows. So if you guys find that brand in your store, I'd really recommend checking it out. The next thing um, is a hair care product. And a while back, I had put on my Facebook page asking you guys for some advice about shampoos. I had really short, kind of a pixie haircut for about 10 years, maybe more than that, all through college and graduate school. And I just started growing it out a few years ago, which meant that I had to completely change kind of my routine. And that threw me for a loop. I had to completely rethink what I was going to use for longer hair. And I ran into all these problems like static and uh, dry time and, and conditioning, which I never really had to worry about before. So there's just a whole array of things. And you guys suggested a bunch of brands. I tried some things. I love the Organics brand, and I think that that's a fabulous brand. But I was still having problems in the back of my hair here with it kind of like just itching and right up here in the front of my head too and I was drinking my water and I was doing everything I could and nothing was really helping. Um, so I came across these at uh, Walgreens and I've seen the Yes to Carrots brand at Target and a couple other places and, but I hadn't seen this before which is Yes to Carrots Scalp Relief. It says Hydrate Scalp, Tea Tree Soothes and Calms, Yes to Clean Healthy Hair. Um, and I bought both of them the shampoo and conditioner and I am totally in love with these. They're amazing. Um, I've almost finished them off, and I think the boyfriend's been using them too, secretly, not telling me. But at any rate, amazing. I really, really like them, and I'm going to be purchasing this again for sure. Now, I have another hair care product, which is kind of weird for me because I don't typically talk a lot about hair stuff. But, like I said, since I've been growing it out, I've been exploring some things. Um, I was at... Albertsons the other day and they had some things on clearance and one thing was the Organics brand uh, Moroccan sea salt spray and the thing is I have longer hair and since it's hot as balls in Texas um, I usually wear my hair up all the time and this is an exception in July to have my hair down because we've had a cold front cold front and it's been like 90 degrees as opposed to 105 degrees so I've actually felt like kind of fixing my hair lately but in the summertime, I don't really like to dry it a whole lot or use the flat iron because it's so hot inside and out. Um, so I've been playing with this, and I actually think it's pretty amazing. Um, I have a natural kind of wave to my hair. It's actually more curly in the back. Um, but what I do is when I get out of the shower, just kind of towel dry it. I put my um, smoother stuff in it so that I don't get flyaways and it's not... Um, staticky and then I spray this in the bottoms and I scrunch it up and just kind of let it dry on its own and my hair curls 
I, it's never done this before. I'm just like totally amazed. I guess this is what products do, right? Um, and it doesn't, it has a little bit of a scent, but not overpowering. And it doesn't seem to dry my hair, which I know a lot of people have complained about the sea salt stuff kind of drying. And I haven't noticed that. So I'm really, really liking this. I think it was about $10 at Albertsons. Okay, so let's talk about some lip products. Um, I typically will wear kind of more bright or vibrant eye shadow and then I'm just a really nude gloss girl. I just am. That's how I've always been. But there are occasions when I maybe don't wear eyeshadow. I just have mascara on or I have like today a really neutral eye that I want to play up the lips. And there are two that I have been wearing a lot this month and I've kept them in my purse. And um, the first one is the Almay uh, Liquid Lip Balm in the color Apricot Pucker. And it just has, you know, your typical kind of doe foot applicator. Um, I like it because it's a gloss, but it has some color to it. And it's not overpowering, you know, it's just a really pretty kind of coral color. The other coral one that I've been wearing a lot is from the Flower Beauty, which is the Lime by Drew Barrymore. And this one is the Lip Butter, um, and the color is called Sheer Snapdragon. Um, I also like that this part is smaller. I tend to like a smaller kind of uh, circumference on the lipstick for some reason. It's just easier to apply. And you can see that like one swipe of the color is, you know, a, a good amount. But then if you can kind of build it up to a darker color, so that's one swipe. And that's a bit more. Um, it has a nice shiny quality to it. Uh, it's not as creamy as the Revlon lip butters, um, but I really like the consistency of it a lot. My one complaint, my one complaint, is that the color is not anywhere on the packaging. Um, I actually saved the little label, like this comes off, which I'm really happy that they do this so people don't open them in the store. So the label's on it like this, but that's where the color name is. But nowhere else is that color here. So if I were to lose this off of here, I wouldn't know what color it is. Uh, these are found exclusively at Walmart, and I think they're like $6, something in that range. And then this, um, All May Lip, uh, Liquid Lip Balm is probably in the range of like 6 or $7. Found that at CVS. Um, how about some eye stuff? Uh, recently, I uh, purchased these, which are the Milani Shadow Eyes 12-hour uh, eyeshadow in a cream stick. And I have a couple of other of these. Uh, they're kind of like the NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil, but I think they're actually better um, because they don't crease and they are just a longer wearing product. They came out with a limited edition set, which are six colors, and they're all neutrals from like really dark brown all the way to this kind of creamy color. There may be a white also. These are a limited edition though, which is kind of frustrating because usually it would be the opposite. Like these would be the permanent colors and the limited edition would be the brighter colors, but that's not how Milani does things. I never saw them in any of my stores. Every time I would go, I would take a look, never saw them. So a friend of mine told me that they were available on Cherry Culture, and I'll put that link below so if you want to look and find them there. They're about six or seven dollars, and um, I got the colors Sand Dunes and Almond Cream, and I'll swatch them for you here. So Almond Cream is just kind of a neutral, you know, flesh tone, and then Sand Dunes a really shimmery kind of uh, champagne color and I've been wearing these a lot I really really like them I have the the almond cream on underneath my eyeshadow base as well as kind of in the inner corner and then on my waterline and they just are really really good wearing long-lasting products so I'm really hoping that they decide to keep these on as permanent because they're amazing um, I also have been using the heck out of my Urban Decay 24-7 liner in Sabbath which is a kind of navy blue color. Ooh, running out of room. There you go. It's almost black. It's so dark. But I find that um, navy colors just look really awesome on kind of amber eyes, which is my eye color. Um, and that's because of the color property, obviously, with um, kind of an orangey brown eye. The opposite color of that is blue. And so it's just kind of different than wearing a just your typical black eyeliner. And I find that it just adds a real fun edge to my makeup. And I, I wear it with like neutral palettes like I have on today with violets. It's really pretty. Um, so it can be really versatile and you can use it in a lot of different ways. The brush is, is pretty easy to use. It's just a thin kind of bristle brush, but it's short. Um, so I really like it. The only thing that I do a lot is I actually open it the opposite direction because the handle side is longest. 
so I get confused and I open it the wrong way every single time. But these of course can be found at Ulta or um, anywhere that sells Urban Decay. They're about $18 I think. Speaking of cheap things, <laughs> um, I shop at Sally Beauty a lot for nail stuff and hair stuff and I always just kind of go in and look around. Well one day I was in there and I, I never really buy the makeup there um, because I don't know I just never thought to do it before for some reason. And I was just kind of surfing through some stuff, and I saw this, which is the Real Colors Hydra Lip Waterproof Gel Lip Liner. And this particular color is called Petal to the Metal. It is a super vibrant magenta color. And I just picked one up to see what it was like on a whim. And I think they were $5.99 or $5.50 or something like that. Holy crap, they're awesome. They're the consistency of the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On lip liners, and they also have eyeliners. Um, so this color, the other color I got in the eyeliner is called Navy Pier, and it's like a, a deep bluish color with the slightest hint of green to it. Um, they go on really, really smooth. They're waterproof. They stay. They do not budge. And for five or six dollars, I think that's just an incredible buy. They only had about six colors in this, some neutral, some brighter colors. And then the lip liners, I think there was four or five colors. So my last favorite, well, I have two more actually. This is my next to last favorite. It's not a makeup product, but it is a kind of a body product, I guess you could say. Let's get serious for a moment. It's summertime. I'm a big girl. Sometimes you have chafing, right? If you're going to wear a skirt and thighs rub together, um, maybe you work out and you wear like certain shorts that are going to give you some problems. We've all experienced this unless you have the kind of body where your legs don't touch, which that's hardly anyone, but there are some people. Um, God bless them. They don't have to deal with this, but the rest of us have to deal with it. And my mother actually gave this to me for Christmas in my stocking one year. Um, and it is called anti-monkey butt powder. <laughs> And I laughed, of course, when, and it was kind of a joke that she gave it to me, but it's really awesome. Um, I think it's an awesome powder. It's an anti-friction powder, and it has calamine in it. And I love the little illustration of the girl with the monkey butt here. And on the back, she's actually powdering her ass, which is so funny. Um, I actually find this at the hardware store, which is completely random, but there's an Ace Hardware near where I live, and I find it there. Um, it's a pink powder, but almost like a white and it's very smooth satiny smooth and it absorbs moisture um, keeps to help you know helps you from chafing and if you have chafed and you want to kind of soothe that it helps with that too because it has the calamine in it so this is a really awesome product they also sell one for guys um, i've seen them on amazon as well so if you're interested i would definitely check that out it's better than baby powder okay so fast forward about uh four days and we're here I have different makeup on, different clothes, different hair, because when I went to edit my June Favorites video, thinking I was going to upload it to you guys like way earlier this week, um, I realized that the entire exit of my video did not record. I'm not sure how that happened. <laughs> Apparently it stopped filming and I had no clue. So as you can imagine, I was pretty pissed when I saw that. Um, but luckily I've got just a couple minutes today to film the exit. I didn't just want to leave the video ending with my ninth favorite because there was one more and I know all of you guys would be on the edge of your seats wondering what the tenth one was. So I think what I'm going to start doing every month is uh, show you guys a song that I've been really into lately. And this month I'm going to take us out on a song by Clary Brown and the Bangin' Rackets. And this is a fairly new band to me. I'm sure they've been around for a while, but my boyfriend um, played this for me a while back and some other songs that I just absolutely fell in love. I think the style is really awesome. It's very 60s kind of feel. And she's really beautiful too. And um, I'll definitely show you a picture towards the end so you can see her style. It's very, very 60s also. Great hair, awesome makeup. So I hope you love that song. I will also be showing some close-ups of both of the looks in this video, the one I had on the first time I filmed and then the one I have on now. Um, I will also link below the um, pictures of all these looks that I'm wearing, this one and the one before, so you can see close-up as well as product list of those things. And um, be sure and let me know what your favorites you guys have been loving, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.